In this video, we're going to look at how we can set if we'd like our iPad to require attention when we use Face ID. Now, of course, this is for the iPads that have Face ID. So if you have an iPad with a Home button or Touch ID for the Sleep-Wake button, you can just skip right by this lesson. This is for iPads with Face ID. Let's take a look at the options for requiring attention for Face ID on an iPad. Let's go to my iPad. So I have my iPad here. This is an iPad Pro. It requires Face ID. As an example, it requires Face ID to unlock it. It requires Face ID to make any purchases. When you have an iPad with Face ID, and of course this also works on an iPhone with Face ID, what it does is it requires attention. What you have to do is you actually have to look at the iPad before it will do any unlocking. I'm going to put my iPad to sleep here. Now what I'm going to do is wake it up, but I'm going to look at the camera. When I'm looking at the camera, I'm not looking at the iPad. Watch what happens when I try to unlock it. So I'm going to tap on it, and now, being that I'm looking at the camera and I try to unlock it, you're going to notice that it will not unlock. That's because I'm not paying attention to the iPad. I can swipe up and it will not do anything. But now when I look at the iPad, watch what happens. It unlocked. All I had to do is just turn my head and look at the iPad and it unlocked. Let's do that one more time. I tap on it, I'm looking at the camera, I'm not looking at the iPad, it doesn't unlock when I try to unlock it. But now when I look at the iPad, it unlocks. This is an extra layer of security. What it does is basically requires you to look at the iPad to make sure that you want to unlock it. Now again, this is on by default, but what we can do is we can turn this off. It does make the iPad less secure because what you can then do is open up the iPad, unlock the iPad without giving it any attention. You could close your eyes and it'll unlock. All it has to do is just look at your face. So it does make it less secure. But in some cases, you may want to do this. In my case here, I have the microphone here. I'm looking at the camera. I do not want to have to look at the iPad every time I want to unlock it. So what I need to do is I need to turn that feature off. So how do we do that? Well, all we have to do is go over to our Settings app here. And then what we do is we go over to Accessibility. Under Accessibility, we have an option for Face ID and Attention. This is where we can turn this feature on and off. So I'm going to tap on this, and you're going to see Require Attention for Face ID. And again, this is on by default. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this off. And now I need to enter in my passcode here to confirm it. It does make it less secure, so you have to enter in your passcode. Now it will no longer require me to give that iPad attention. So now let's put it to sleep. And I'm going to look at the camera. And now watch what happens. I tap on it to wake it up. And it opens right up. Let's do that again. So now I put it to sleep. I tap on it to wake it up. I swipe up. And it opens right up. I did not have to actually look at the camera at the iPad to unlock it. Now again, this does make it less secure. If you were sleeping, someone would be able to point the iPad at your face and be able to unlock it because it does not need you to look at it. It does not need your attention. There is one other option here for attention aware. We also have attention aware features. What this will do is this will keep the iPad awake when this is turned on when you are looking at it. So you're giving the iPad attention. Let's say you're reading in the Books app or in Kindle. Well, as you're reading, you may not be interacting with the iPad, but you're reading it. The iPad will stop it from going to sleep or stop it from dimming because you're looking at the iPad. So I like to leave this one on. So what I will do is I will have require attention for Face ID turned off so then I don't have to physically look at the iPad. I do have to point the iPad at my face, but I don't have to look at it with my eyes. And then I also leave attention aware features on. 
So then as I'm working on my iPad, my iPad knows that I am working with it and it will stop it from dimming the display. So that's how we can set if we want to require attention for Face ID. Basically with the require attention, which is on by default, what you need to do is give the iPad attention by looking at it. If you do not want to have that extra layer of security, you can turn that off. It will still need to look at your face, but it will not need to look at your eyes. You just go into your settings app and go to accessibility. From there, you're going to see face ID and attention. Just turn on the slider, enter in your code, and then it will no longer require to see your eyes before you can unlock it. You can also set if you want to use attention aware features. Basically, as long as you're working on the iPad, if it sees that you're looking at the iPad, it will not dim the screen. I like to have that on. So that's how we can set if we'd like our iPad to require attention when using Face ID.